welcome back to the second channel. We're back at it again. And today we've got a very exciting video and you might notice I'm wearing my Harry Styles t-shirt. Well, technically it's not Harry Styles t-shirt. It's a pleasing t-shirt, which is Harry Styles beauty brand. And there's a reason for it. So basically, if you guys follow my channel for a while, you'll know I'm a big Harry Styles fan. Borderline super fan. In fact, I am a super fan, all right? I'm the biggest Harry Styles fan there is. Actually, I probably shouldn't say that. I'm going to get hate for that. There's a lot of bigger Harry Styles fans than me. But I'm a big one and you guys know I'm a big one because I've A, lied about him being my cousin. And B, I tricked the internet into thinking I was him. Yes, I'm sure you all know this. My most viewed video, well, actually, it's not my most viewed video. If we go onto my channel and go popular, it's actually my second most viewed video. It's 100,000 views behind my most viewed video. But today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reacting to this video. And I'm going to be showing you guys some behind the scenes and stuff you've never seen before. So I saw Will and Lee do this, five secrets you missed in my most viral videos. And it reminded me of how much footage and behind the scenes I just never released and that I cut out this video. And I thought today, what a great time to go through this video, watch it with you guys and whilst doing so I'm going to be showing you guys some extra BTS that you've never seen before and hopefully this gives this video the push it needs to become my most viewed video. So yeah without further ado let's get straight into this and let's react to how I tricked the internet into thinking I was Harry Styles. Fans are convinced that Harry Styles has a secret TikTok. Okay I'm going to interrupt the video straight away <laughs> literally five seconds in. So this intro I was very very happy with because I wanted a news like place to report on it and we did get quite a few as you'll see we got Capital FM here, we well. got Newsweek, well, ID Magazine, all these different websites reporting on it, but we didn't have like a full on actual like news report of it. And I really wanted that to start the video to be like, whoa, this actually made it onto like the news. Wait, is this video actually still up? Oh, it is still up. They literally haven't deleted it. They're like, yeah, we report fake news. We don't care. It's got 43,000 views as well. When I actually did this, this video did not have 43,000 views. It literally had like 200 views. Yeah, what do the comments say? Man really tricked the entire fans. No matter what the stands say, he still deserves respect for this stun. Thank you, person. I don't know how to say your name, but thank you. Someone else, it's impressive how George Mason is able to pull off these kind of tricks. Thank you. You can't just convince the world you're Harry Styles. George Mason, hold my beer. What can I say, guys? I'm the biggest cabbage of all time. Thank you, Hollywood Wire comments. I appreciate it. All right, let's see what else we get into. I'm acting like I've not seen this video before. I've seen this video a million times because I edited this, but I haven't watched this for a while. So here we go. We were talking about this secret, secret TikTok, TikTok account. account. Everyone thinks that Harry Styles is gone. Well, this music's good in the background. People zoomed in and noticed that it looks like he's on TikTok. Yes. This could be Harry's secret TikTok. Dun dun. Um, it's not. It's it's me. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I bet you wonder how I got here. I was gonna do that intro, but I didn't. I thought it would be too much. But look at this. Um, so this badge here, not many people notice this, but it's a little, little, uh, what's it called? Easter egg. I've actually still got it here. It's a hello, my name is, and then I wrote Sue Manila. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna wear it right now because my name is Sue Manila. I'm Sue Manila. Yeah, let's get back into the video. Basically, I'm trying to make it look like Harry Styles has downloaded TikTok. He doesn't really know what he's doing. And he's just made a random account and started making TikTok. That's true. I did not need to add that, did I? <laughs> I was just like, yep, yeah, that's I did that, guys. I did that. No, so basically with this right, when I was doing it, my goal at the start of this was not what it became. My actual goal with it was to become like one of them like deep fake TikTok accounts. So, so you know, like Tom Cruise has one. So this TikTok looks like Tom Cruise's TikTok, but it's not Tom Cruise. This TikTok. It's a deep fake. As you can see, you can tell it's deep fake. Like it does look real at screenshots. So yeah, that was kind of my idea with this. I wanted to do like kind of the deep fake route where people knew it was fake, but also because I had the plaque, they were just gonna kind of go along with it and try and see how I had the plaque and who was really behind this fake account. So yeah, I made this first TikTok, removing all the fruit from the bowl. It was a terrible TikTok. But as I said, I wasn't trying to actually be Harry Styles. I was just trying to make it look like it was Harry Styles, but not actually Harry Styles. But yeah, let's get back into the video. To make this look more like Harry, I decided to try and draw his cross tattoo onto my hand. Okay, disclaimer. At the time, I genuinely thought like, come on, that doesn't look terrible, does it? Okay, it kind of does. Free hand, it's just a bit thick. The, the main bit's a bit thick. Yeah, it's not very good, is it? But I, it was just literally in for a split second. I thought it was okay. It wasn't. Yeah, out of the whole video, this was the one thing that actually let the, the reveal down. Like when I actually did all the TikToks and then revealed the plaque, this was the one thing that people were like, wait, that's not Harry Styles. That's not his hand tattoo. Harry Styles fans are a lot smaller. So if I'm really gonna get them to believe this, I need to go in deep. Now the next thing- yeah. 
That was true. That was one thing about this is that if I really wanted to trick Harry Styles fans, I needed to go in deep because these guys are like the FBI. This is how intense Harry Styles and One Direction fans are. One time, One Direction were in an airport, right? Just waiting to go on their flight. Tell me why One Direction fans hacked into the airport security cameras and were watching the live stream of Harry Styles and One Direction boys in the airport. I'm not lying. Look, One Direction security camera hacked. This is not a lie. Like, this is genuinely. They even hacked into hotel cameras. This is actually not. These fans can literally solve any crime in the world if they put their mind to it. If Harry Styles was involved, they'll solve it. So I knew if I wanted to trick these guys, I had to go in really, really deep. So I spent the day giving the account a little bit more depth. So let me introduce right. to you. Not to keep pausing it, but I'm gonna keep pausing it. But this was when I realized that I actually wanted to give this account proper depth and actually try and make it look like Harry Styles. So the first day I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go for like a deep fake thing. It's kind of gonna be a joke. People are gonna be like, oh, that's not Harry Styles, but it looks like Harry Styles. They've got the 1 billion streams plaque. Who is this behind this account? However, with that one day I took off, the 11th of February, that's when I was like, wait, what if I actually fully try and make this look like Harry Styles? So that's what I did, yeah, as Styles you can see. I made the Harry Styles multiverse. After a little bit of research, I've discovered these are Harry Styles five publicly closest friends. So I also made them fake secret TikTok. We have Harry Styles manager, Jeff Azel. Oh, do you guys actually want to see something cool? So for all these accounts, right, I, I literally, as I said, I wanted to give them proper depth. So for example, this one, Tom and Aspia, 47 following, three followers, zero likes. But then you had Sarah Jones, 15 following, two followers, three likes. I didn't want them to all be like zero following, zero followers, zero likes. Cause then it just all looks like fake accounts. And literally all these accounts were private. So they couldn't see what the TikToks were, but I had to make TikToks for each account. Wait, actually, I need to show this. This is embarrassing, but I'm gonna show you what the TikToks were. Honestly, guys, don't judge me for these TikToks. They're not even TikToks. They're literally just me trying to fill up the space as quickly as possible. So for example, let's start with row two land. All right, here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> This is what the TikToks are, guys. This is why the account had to be private. All these TikToks, as you can see, were just terrible videos of me trying to film the most short TikToks I could. Why did I make this 15 seconds? I did not need to make this 15 seconds. I think I actually got to the point where I was enjoying making them. All right, let's watch this. We're gonna cringe. If he don't get it, then he'll go, but I don't care, I'm in the Hollywood Hills. <laughs> okay, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. That's what was on these accounts. So when these Harry Styles fans were like, oh my God, this is Mitch Rowland's TikTok account. What is on this account? He's got 22 likes. We need to see these TikToks. This, this is what's on the TikTok account. <laughs> I don't care. I'm in the Hollywood Hills. I was never planning to show any of these to anyone. These are supposed to be private forever. But you know what? For the second channel, you guys get this sneak peek. What? <laughs> This is the TikTok, a one second TikTok of me doing this. Ah, it's just so funny that so many people wanted to know what's in these accounts and this is what was on these accounts. Yeah, again, just a load, a load of TikTok. Look how many I made for this one. Oh my God, look at this one. My name, Jeff. Neff. See guys, you lot were calling me a genius, you know, a mastermind for pulling this video off. Whilst in the meantime, this was the behind the scenes of me filming this video. But yeah, anyway, enough talk, on with the video. From here, here's where I did the crazy part and actually tended to be Harry Styles in public. I studied his outfits, I got the shoes, which I actually still have these shoes. You see, the Harry Styles van. I literally bought these off Depop for pretty cheap to be fair and wore them once. Maybe I should start wearing them. Yeah, I got the shoes. What else did we get? We got the coat, we got the trousers, everything, the hat, still got that hat as well. We had the nail varnish. I was looking good. But with that, the full outfit was complete and it was right, time see the to reveal. put it all together. Ooh. So I started the transition into Harry Styles. Look at everything me. Everything on that I'd prepared and then tied the fact that I- The only thing was, this hat was kind of the wrong shade of pink because I actually found what the real hat was. This actual pink beanie that he wears, this one, this is the real Harry Styles, this is not me. It's this hat right here, this beanie, and it's from La Ligne NYC, and it's $110. So I could have bought that. I did find that out at the time, but I was like, I'm not spending $110 on a pink hat. But realistically, I'm never gonna wear again. So I just went for a cheaper version, and I'm glad I did because I've not wore it since. But yeah, anyway, so let's get on with the video. And just like that, the transformation was complete. I was Harry Styles. I've also got this Gucci bag. Oh, the Gucci, Gucci bag. This is an interesting bit of trivia. I didn't say where I got the Gucci bag. Wait, did I say I bought it? I didn't actually make that clear. So the Gucci bag, I just said I had a Gucci bag. Disclaimer, I've never bought anything from Gucci and I've still got this bag. I think I've got two. Wait, hold on. Now these Gucci bags actually have a very interesting story behind them. That's kind of embarrassing. And there's a reason I didn't tell you how I acquired these Gucci bags in the video. So um, long story short, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. The way I got these Gucci bags was um from the bin. Yeah, 
That's why I didn't put in the video how I got them. Don't take stuff from bins. Well, I guess you can take stuff from bins if you want to. Who am I to tell you what to do? I took this from a bin. So around that time last year, Balenciaga actually had a pop-up shop with Gucci. So as you can see, it's right here. I went to it. The Gucci and Balenciaga store. It was pretty sick. I just had a look around. I didn't buy anything. Everything was like expensive. However, whilst I was outside, I spotted something that was a golden opportunity. So where the Gucci and Balenciaga pop-up was, was here, Shoreditch. And it was literally this building here. So as you can see, see how that looks there? They just painted it black and put Gucci and Balenciaga signs on. But basically, whilst it was the Gucci and Balenciaga store, there was bins right here, okay? Now, I didn't get it from this bin. I promise you, I did not go diving down these bins. I would not go through these bins. These bins look disgusting. However, right here, okay, I'm just talking on the side of the road. It wasn't actually a bin. I say I got it from the bin. It wasn't actually a bin. I didn't go down a bin. Is there any other things from like, oh, look, you see, they just leave rubbish here, this exact spot for some reason, and the Gucci and Balenciaga store decided to leave their rubbish here, and their rubbish included these two bags. So this was way before I even had this idea. I was just like, you know what? A free Gucci bag on the floor. You never know when that's going to come in handy. And it came in very handy. As you can see, it helped me transform into Harry Styles. It's going to help Yeah, here we go. I sat on the train with my Got Gucci bag and my Spotify box. And eventually arrived at St. John's Woods. So yeah, the then we headed Abbey to Studios. Abbey Road Studios. And obviously I just went to take the pictures, which we did. But whilst I was there, we found this. Money is fake. Harry Styles is forever. This was just a massive coincidence. Look what I do here. So you know what I think belongs on here? What belongs on here? Oh, a catfish sticker. A catfish sticker, let's go. Here we go, here we go. Boom. The only problem with this is, as you just saw, it really didn't stick very well. I also also put another sticker somewhere. So basically, I found this lamppost right outside Abbey Road. And as you can see, it had loads of stickers on it. So I was like, I've got a sticker on me, a catfish sticker. Let's add this to the collection. So there you go, got the sticker out. And look, we stuck it on right there. So I added it to the collection. This one actually properly stuck. And literally, this is right outside Abbey Road Studios. Abbey Road Studios right there. And there, you have a catfish sticker. So if anyone goes to Abbey Road Studios in the next few weeks, months, check this lamppost and see if this sticker's there because I haven't been back since. Literally look, all of these pictures of me walking out, pretending to be Harry Styles. And I was so happy with these pictures. They came out so good. Literally like, that could be Harry Styles. It's me, but it could be Harry Styles. And the fact that the gate was open, like literally the way I did it, I literally just, as you saw in the video, I sort of stepped back a little bit and then pretended like I was walking through them. And yeah, it's Harry Styles walking out of Abbey Road. I think this was the one we actually posted. So the people can now see Harry Styles has his Spotify bot and also has TikTok on his phone. Okay, you can't really see in that picture specifically, but like this one, for example, which is one I leave. If we zoom in onto the phone, you can see there's two TikToks on the account, right? So there's the Fruit Bowl TikTok and the Pink Stairs TikTok. Now, as I said, from here, I realized that I wanted to take this more seriously and not make it a joke, try and actually make people believe this was Harry Styles. But I knew if I deleted the Fruit Bowl TikTok, when people found out the Sumanella account, it wouldn't add up with the dates because I would have only had one TikTok on my phone then. And they'd be like, wait, but it says on the phone he had two TikToks them why has he only got one then? so i had to keep it for the continuity however it was also the downfall of why a lot of people didn't believe us but regardless a lot of people still did i did a lot of editing to these pictures literally a ridiculous amount like i've got to say this is some of the best photoshopping i've ever done like it's so subtle like the change is so subtle like we went from this to this but like there's eyes behind the sunglasses the, the eye like every the, just so small details it really does look like harry styles if you look closely now in the video i didn't really show it i just kind of showed like the good reaction to the selfies of people being like oh my gosh harry styles that was the it's a great photo with this girl however, what i didn't show was there was a few people that didn't believe it however they didn't believe it wasn't harry they believed it was harry but they believed that the picture was fake. Wait, let me just show you, okay? So I didn't put this in the video because, again, it just made the video too long. Oh, watch this exclusive bit of footage. Wait, what's this? Oh, no, someone's onto us. But the way they're onto us makes no sense at all. Look at this. The picture of H is not from yesterday. As you can see in the background, we can see a tree with leaves. But right now it's winter and those perennial trees are empty like it shows on Google satellite pictures of this month. Pick two and three. In the fourth pick, we can see how it looks in the spring. What do you mean? This isn't even fake. There are leaves on the trees. Yeah, so they basically, this I mean, these people were like proper intense apps. So they went onto Google Street View and they said at the time of year it was, the trees should have been gray, but they weren't gray. I was there, they, they were green. I didn't fake the trees. So yeah, these people were saying the trees should look like this, but instead in the picture, they're all green. The thing is, right, obviously I've tried to reach out to Harry Styles since then, tried to get his attention, tried to give him the plaque back, but we haven't heard anything. So I don't know if Harry Styles is mad at me or he's not mad at me or he doesn't really care. Maybe he's not seen 
seen it, but I feel like he probably has seen it. Like there's been so much going on around it and like so many people have seen it. Someone in Harry Styles team have had to have seen it and told him surely. If anyone ever meets Harry Styles, please ask him, do you know about Sue Manella? That's that's what I ask guys. If you ask him, I'd appreciate that because I want to know. And it doesn't look like I'm meeting him anytime soon. Fun, something unique, something cool, but still have it be connected to Harry's nickname, Sue. So guys, what do you think was the second? Because I think Sue Manella was a great name. I'm not going to lie, Sue Manella, chef kiss name, but if it wasn't, <laughs> I've just seen Sue Getty. I, I just tried to come up with as many names I could think of. But comment down below what your second favorite name is. I literally did an interview with a, a radio station, Capital FM, and they were like, yeah, so where did you come up with the name Sue Manella then? And I was like, just came up with it. I don't know, <laughs> that's how my brain works. Like, don't ask me these questions. Like, I literally came up with Sue Star, Sue Sages, Sue Getty, and Sue Manella. But yeah, it actually did work out well because people were like, oh, this must mean something. Harry Styles always means something. Because like, I don't know if you guys know, part of my inspiration behind this was actually Actually, this thing that Harry Styles did with his second album, which was called Eroda. The album wasn't called Eroda, but he just made up this fake island called Eroda. Eroda backwards is Adore, and the single he came out with was called Adore You. There's all this stuff, there's a guide about Eroda, like literally, it's crazy. So everyone knows when Harry Styles does stuff, there's usually like something behind it. So when they saw Sue Mon Ella, they were like, it must mean something. Yeah, let's get back into the video. All right, I think we've booked a studio to make a TikTok. So I then prepared yeah. for the studio. This was a very strange experience. Like, like I'll just play the video. Cover. That had Harry Styles I made the script. HS3 announcement video. I then stapled it to a stack of paper and we were good to go. I packed everything I needed. So this studio experience, I've never been to a studio before. I didn't know what to expect. So I just found this place online. I was like, oh, it's a studio. It's pretty cheap. It's not very close to me, but I can drive there. It's fine. Look, so this is how much I showed of the studio. A bit of the floor, a bit of the table, a bit of the floor again. Look what else. Lights, ceiling, and then you can see a little slither, a literal slither of the door. Tell me how Harry Styles fans found this exact studio. I'm not lying. They literally Actually, I don't think I'll be able to find the tweet now. Oh my gosh, I found, well, this wasn't the exact one I was talking about. So this person said, okay, does anyone know what studio this could be? It was in the Sue Manella TikTok and it will not give us any info. I just need something. Oh my gosh, so this is how they found it. Apparently, I, I guess a sliver was in. It just said O-W-I-D-E Studio. So O-Wide Studio. Literally, these people on Twitter were like, guys, we need to assemble you. Come on, guys. You that hacked into the security footage, you that hacked into the airport with security cameras, get in, we need to find the studio. And there you go, someone said, Said, I did find it. It's Mavro Worldwide Studios. Honestly, fan Twitter is just crazy. The amount of numbers they get, it just surpassed all of my expectations for this. Yeah, let's see the end bit. The end bit, I remember it's being a montage of fans. Let's switch it. Yeah. The by the way, shout out to all the people that were in this montage, by the way. I did get a message from some of them that people were sending them hate. Don't send them any hate, all right, guys? Look, these people are just Harry Styles fans. I'm a Harry Styles fan. You might be a Harry Styles fan. But at the end of the day, it was just a harmless fun prank. The then? It's Sue Manella. <laughs> Absolutely not. I 100% believe it's Harry. <laughs> Sue Manella is not Harry. I personally believe it's Harry Styles. Obviously it's not Harry. It's probably his team. I think it's his team. It is very hard to say that Harry and his team are not involved in this somehow. That tattoo is so fake. Okay, we yeah. know that's Sharpie. Those are yeah. Harry's feet. Those that are Harry's down. stairs. Those are not his feet. I know Harry's lanky feet. <laughs> This man sends me crazy. Who else would have Harry's billion plaque? How do they get their hands on that plaque? Just how, how would that not be his? Like that's it. You see, this is what I mean. The fact there was so much back and forth, like, no, it's not him. Yes, it is him. Look at this. This is why it is him. No, look at this. This is why it's not him. That actually just created more and more hype around it. And it just kept blowing the account up again and again and again. It's been over a month since I posted the last Sue Manella TikTok. And Sue Manella has 674,000 followers. So yeah, we've lost quite a bit, but it's all right. But yeah, how crazy is that? 600,000 followers in a week. Absolutely insane. Literally six times what I got on TikTok, which has taken me about four years Together. After this, guys, no one can dispute. I'm the biggest catfish of all time. I don't think there's any way to top this. I, I don't think there's any way to top this. I mean, you know what, guys? There will be a way, and I will find a way, all right? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. The one-year anniversary, a little bonus footage, a little extra, never before seen. But yeah, guys, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe for new videos every single Sunday. We're back on the grind, guys. Two videos in two weeks. And we're also going to be uploading the main channel soon, so get ready for that. But yeah, guys, it's been your boy, Sue Manella. If you have enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's been Sue Manella. Look at the name tag. Over and out. Boom.